Is your penis in pain? Is your coochie inflamed? Are you experiencing cauliflower-like growth? Then you have another case of microherp. Yes, microherpes has come back to strike us yet again, making us all burn and need more penicillin and more drugs to unfuck this shit. We were so close. We were so close. We were like this close. This fucking close to get an Xbox One without a Kinect. I thought it was going to happen. I don't think there's anyone who thought that this was not going to happen. We were overjoyed. Yeah, it's going to come. No, it's not. You're going to be stuck with what the fuck you got. You're going to get that Connect, whether you like it or not. Eat your Brussels sprouts. I know you don't want them, but eat your Brussels sprouts. How did this happen? I'll tell you how it happened. Okay. According to Microsoft's Phil Mickelson, he spoke with, uh, you know, CVG, and they basically said, we're not going to get rid of the Connect. It will never come without the Connect. It is a part of you. It's a part of us. And this fucking sucks. Okay? It fucking sucks. I don't want the Connect, but they're going to fucking make me have it. So, let's go into his fucking explanation of why the fuck we need to have one. These are his words. Uh, the Xbox One is Connect. They are not separate systems. And the Xbox One has chips, it has memory, it has a Blu-ray, it has Connect, it has a controller. These are all parts of the platform ecosystem. Microsoft basically said this whole thing is part of it. We can't get rid of it. Take it, but you ain't got to use it, but you damn sure going to take it. I'm very disappointed. I mean, I, I of course, pre-ordered a, a PS4 and an Xbox One. Yeah, thank you very much for calling me a fanboy in your fucking face. Uh, but when you pre-order the system, I was like, okay, if they switch this thing down to a connectless bundle, I will switch over to that one because I don't want the connect. I don't need it. I don't want to walk in your house and say Xbox on. You know what I'm saying? And he, he said on some, yeah, oh yeah. When you walk in your house and you say Xbox on, it's going to be a great experience and all this other good stuff. I'm sure it will be for those of you who can use it. We all know cell phones have shoddy ass voice controls. You tell them to call somebody, you're trying to say a text, and it's like, fuck you, bitch. No, I didn't say that. That's what the fuck happens, and it's going to fucking happen again. It's going to fucking happen with this damn system. I explained this before to many people in my previous videos. I have, uh, you know what I'm saying, a gigantic receiver, okay, for my surround sound system. Big, gigantic towers, all kind of freaking shit. They're all over the fucking place. And I can't turn that on with the Xbox Connect. I still have to grab my controller. I still have to press power. I still have to turn on the fucking TV. I still have to do all this fucking shit. So now I get to walk in the house and say, Xbox on. Is it going to turn on the TV for me? Is it going to turn on the cable box should someone turn it off? Is it going to turn on my, my freaking receiver? Is it going to turn it on? For those of you who have surround sound systems, mostly a lot of people do. You know, a lot of people have them on freaking uh, desktops. It's not going to turn it on. It will turn on the Xbox. But I highly doubt it's going to turn on every fucking thing. If it could do that, then we're talking. Then you got something I'm interested in. Because I really hate fucking doing it. Turn on the TV. Turn on the freaking receiver. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the cable box is freaking on. Now I can fucking party. But if you can turn them all on, that would be great. But if not, then I'm just sti I still got to say Xbox on. Then I got to go turn on the motherfucking TV. Then I got to turn on the receiver. So it's fucked. What's the fucking point? Big fucking cosmic waste of time for me. It's a waste of fucking money. I don't fucking want it. But you're going to fucking have it. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to fucking like it. What can you do? I attached this video on to the video I made last night. Uh, I was editing that. I threw a little uh, ending on, on there for you guys because I was planning it. It took a while to sync the, the video up. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll be coming to y'all again on Saturday with some more news. You know, I, I like to stay updated on, on everything that's going on from the red, the blue, PlayStation controllers, and all this other random shit. But right now, this is a fucking hot mess. No one, no one knows when the fucking Xbox One is going to release. I hope they fucking give us a fucking date. I think they're going to try and go for November 5th. I think that's what they're going to try and go for. But who the fuck knows? They won't tell us shit. All they keep telling us is that we can't fucking have them. They're not separate systems. You're going to have this fucking connect. It's not going to happen. And if they flip-flop on this, oh my God, it's just fucking beach time. Just flip-flop sandals all over the fucking bitch. I hope they fix this shit. Now on to my, to my previous video.
What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and it has happened again. I have been branded. Branded as a Sony fanboy. Again. I want to try and explain this in a way that doesn't offend people. You know, the fanboys, the, the true hardcore fanboys of any particular game console. Here's the problem. I am a gamer. I like all consoles. I've had all consoles going way back. Okay, I'm talking about Sony and television, freaking Alex in Wonderland. That's how far back this shit fucking goes for me. Okay, way back, Atari, way back. And I love games. I love game systems. I love electronics. I love gadgets. That's what the fuck I love. And when people call me a fanboy, it kind of gets on my nerves just a tiny bit. How can I explain this? Okay, you have a fucking favorite football team. If you live in, you know, Europe, football team and basketball team, you name it. Okay, it doesn't matter who your favorite fucking player is. Whatever fucking team they're on, they're your fucking favorite player. You love them. Oh my God, LeBron, yeah. And what fucking happens when they start fucking up? What happens? Sometimes you have to admit that they're fucking up. Maybe you should have took that three-point shot. Maybe you should have passed the fucking ball and not hogged it like Kobe. Maybe you shouldn't do fucking PEDs like fucking A-Rod. Maybe you should fucking play as a team player. That's what the fuck happens. It doesn't matter what sport you like or what team you like. If they're fucking up, they're fucking up. A fanboy would just attack everyone regardless of what they're fucking doing without looking at their own fucking team. That's what a fucking fanboy does. I'll attack Sony if they say something stupid, if they do something stupid. They aren't perfect. Okay, here's 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 what my issue is. Okay, Nintendo, what the fuck am I supposed to do with them? Okay, I bought the damn console. I did a review thing on it. I I didn't like it. I got rid of it. I'm sorry. There's nothing good I can say about Nintendo. When I have a console and it sits there for literally months, just sitting there, am I wrong for getting rid of it because there's no fucking games for it? Uh, games are coming in 2014. I shouldn't have to wait. A whole fucking year to get a whole new fucking game. I shouldn't have to fucking do it. I can only listen to those little little fucking Wii U creatures going, no, 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 all fucking day. I can't fucking do it, okay? Am I wrong for that? I don't think so. Microsoft is fucking up right now. They're, they're fucking up, they're fucking up, okay? One, well, all the DRM shit they started, and everyone goes, okay, they overturned all the bullshit. Not because they gave a fuck about what we thought. They thought we were just going to be mindless drones like Borg. And be like, resistance is futile and just fucking buy it. That didn't fucking happen because they have competition. And now they want to change their shit. Had Sony said they were going to drop PS4 next year, would they have changed their DRM? No. No. They would not fucking do it. Because they would have had no competition. Okay. Sony has done a lot of things right this year. Okay. I didn't like when they came out and they were $599. No one had $599 to spend on a PS3. Okay, no one fucking had it. Okay, I'm amazed that they caught up with Xbox because they had a one-year head start. For the consoles of, of this generation to to catch up like this, that is a hell of an accomplishment considering that you use a cell processor and people didn't like it and all, it was harder to develop for. The price was outrageous. You know, there was it was gigantic. It overheated. You got hacked that one time, but it was still, you know, functionally better than the Xbox 360, which had a 60% failure rate. So... Am I wrong for dissing Sony when they were doing fucked up shit? No. And they fixed their shit, and it came out here right. They talked to developers. They, they, they listened to actual feedback. But when you have a, a, a group like Microsoft that gets salty or whatever when, when, when people call them out on their bullshit, I shouldn't be called a fucking fanboy. When you're fucking up, you are fucking up. And to go with the beef... That is continuously going on. We go into the beef of fucking uh, Andrew House saying that uh, while many of our competitors have shifted their message and changed their story, we're consistent in maintaining policies and a model that is fair and in tune with customer desires. It's true. Yes, it was a fucking Microsoft disc. It was fucking blatant. They did it in the last thing. Did Microsoft not think they were going to do it again? Maybe they should have had a conference that we could watch then maybe they would have the ability to fucking say something back. 
Don't come on in some tiny little fucking forum or whatever, some tiny interview, and then be like, oh, well, people are just going to say whatever they're going to say. No, 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 no. You should have fucking had a fucking conference. You should have showed us what the fuck you had to offer. Not tell us we're not fucking invited. That's fucking up. And I'm going to call you out on your fucking bullshit. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm supposed to call you out on your bullshit. So apparently Phil Spencer came out, you know what I'm saying, during a Eurogamer interview or whatever and said, other people are will do and say what they are going to say. Fine. We're running our program. That's basically what he said. There's nothing fucking wrong with that. They're going to do their own fucking thing. But here's when it started to piss me off just a little bit. Uh, he said these policy shifts are not detrimental, but rather a strength, a sign of the company's ability to adapt and evolve policies based on consumer feedback. He went on to say, the two-way conversation that we have with gamers is critical. If we weren't able to listen, I don't think we will be creating an ecosystem that means people will want to come to, to the platform. Uh, I think this uh, the reaction, I think, is complete when the product is on the shelf and it has a price that has a content library and uh, consumers vote. He said at that time, that, uh, and that's the date I am looking forward to. Here's where it lost fucking me. I'm sorry, I got mumbled up a little bit, but when I read bullshit, it chokes me the fuck up. I'm, a, I'm fucking allergic to it. I'm start itching and shit. Do you all recall, you know, back in May, when they kind of blocked us from being able to comment on their shit? Was that a two-way conversation? Did you feel like they were listening to you when they blocked their YouTube comments? When they didn't want to hear a fucking word you had to say after they fucking revealed their console? Hey, this is our DRM paralysis. This is our bullshit. You're going to fucking like it. Shut the fuck up. If you don't like it, it's not for you. If you're a soldier and you're living in a fucking submarine, fuck you. Stick with your Xbox 360, you broke bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's their fucking message. And when we tried to comment on it, they blocked our messages from being able to be posted. Is that a two-way conversation? Don't tell me you were listening to, to us now. You should have listened to people back then. Who the fuck did you interview? I don't know any any mass amount of gamers that you probably went to. I've never seen it in no newspaper or some freaking thing online where they say, hey, Microsoft wants to know what the fuck you think about their new console. No. They never asked me shit, and I don't think they ever asked you shit. So when they come out and pretend like they were listening to you, when they bust out this DRM bullshit and all the other crap that they threw in there, and they want to act like the victims now, like, we're listening to people, we're the good guys, we pay attention to our consumers, you didn't give a fuck what we had to say when we were fucking bitching at you because you fucking blocked us. I've never in my life heard anybody in a conversation say, shut the fuck up, and when a person be quiet, they're like, I listened to everything they had to say. They just had nothing to say. No, you fucking blocked them, dumbass. Don't put tape around my mouth and act like 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 we're wrong now that we have a voice and now we pay with our fucking wallets and we speak with our fucking money. Now you want to fucking listen to us. Now you care. Okay, if you recall, uh, in one of the articles that came out, they said uh, we already surpassed our Xbox 360 pre-orders. And I think that was about a month and a half ago. And the Xbox 360 uh, pre-orders are somewhere around 360,000 pre-orders. And PlayStation came on yesterday and said, hey, uh, we're already over a million. That fucking means that they are fucking moving consoles. That they are releasing their consoles in 32 countries. All the fucking places that they said that they were going to release it in. And Microsoft said, no, nah, we're going to do 13. 13. How the fuck is anybody supposed to be happy with that? I said it before. Think about all the people that's in Belgium and all these other people. And, you know, people in Russia who want to play fucking FIFA and all this other shit. And they can't fucking do it. Merry fucking Christmas. Happy New Year, motherfucker. Maybe you'll get a system sometime. I can't tell you when. I don't know. How the fuck do you come out with a new console and you don't know what the fuck is happening with it? So, before you call me a, a fanboy and diss me and say, oh, man, you're a fanboy. Here comes another Sony fanboy. Listen to what the fuck I'm, got, I, I'm trying to say. When you are fucking up, don't you want someone to call him out on it? If A-Rod does fucking PD and then goes out there and says, hey, I'm the greatest baseball player ever lived. No, motherfucker. You was taking that shit. You was... That's what the fuck you was doing. Don't act like we're wrong for saying that you act like ass. That you're a fucking has-been. How, how dare you fucking act like you're the greatest thing since sliced bread when you know you were fucking up. Only a fanboy would stick with, with that bullshit. You are a fucking fanboy, Stone Fox. You a punk-ass fanboy. A bitch-ass fucking fanboy. 
love and fuck it, Sony dick, don't you, bitch? Take that shit in your butt cheeks, don't you, bitch? I'm not a fanboy, please. Yeah, right. Fucker. Stone Fox is the biggest fucking fanboy. Crying like a fucking fanboy. You look like a fanboy. You sound like a fanboy. You know what? Let's freestyle about this shit. Let's get these motherfuckers. Fanboy. 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 This is fanboy shit. This is fanboy crap. I'm talking about you stuff in this fanboy rap. I'm sick of you whining. I'm sick of you bitching. I'm sick of that silly ass and dick that you're licking. You play that Gizzard War, now you fucking play no more ever since you turned into a fucking fanboy whore. You a fanboy, bitch. Bitch ass fucking fanboy. Fuck ass fanboy. Fanboyism. Fanboy, fanboy killer, bitch. Bitch. Punk ass bitch.